No generative AI was used in the creation of this video. Right, I'm going to have a look at these list of commands from the first edition that came out in November the 3rd, 1971 of Unix version 1. And we're going to see if it compares with what's available still in FreeBSD in 2025. Let's have a look. Right then, first off the bat is AR. I'm going to look at the man pages of these to see if it still exists. And, you know, it, you, if you've got the manship pages, you've still got the command. And yes, AR is there. There's a little bit more to it than there was originally, but it's uh, still there, which is great. Next, AS. And yes, it is. I'm looking at them both. I think it's the both. It's the same command. Because sometimes commands might have the same name, but they've changed over the years. But th uh, this is the same so far. Uh, we've got B, which is uh, language in the original. And it's a builder system driver now. So I think... Uh, yeah, no, this is not the same, I think. There is, it's still there, but it's not the same uh, command. Next, we've got uh, Bass, or for basic. And I shouldn't imagine it is still there. No. So that's one that's not there, which is a shame. Would have been nice to have built-in basic. Uh, we've got BCD for binary code decimal conversion. Uh, and it's not in the... FreeBSD. Next we have boot. Now I think it has, yeah, it is there, but it's again, it's a different thing. I think originally it's to reboot the system and now it's um, bootstrapping procedures. So there is a man page for it, but it's a different, a different boot. Next is cat. And yeah, cat is still the same, which is pretty cool. And it's a command that I use quite uh, often, actually. Next is chdir, or change directory. Change working directory. And it is there, but uh, now it's part of the shell command, so it's not its own separate thing. And you can see a list of built-in commands in the shell. Next is check. And nope, it's not available for BBSD. chmod. Yeah, still the same. There's a little bit more to it now, but yeah, it's still basically the same. Next we have Chown, or Change Owner. Yeah, now it changed, changed File Owner and Group now, but it's the same thing. CMP, or Compare Two Files, and yes, it's, the, it's still in, which is, uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. CP for copy. And it is still there. It's good to see that these commands are remain and yet still being updated. Uh, next you got date. Uh, yes, print the date. But now you can display or set date and time using this. It's a, it's a little bit more involved, but it's basically the same. DB. Uh, originally it's for debug. And now it's uh, yeah, database access method. So DB will take you to the DB open, but it's a different a different function. Next we have DBPT, which is dump binary paper tape. I can bet you it is not available. Yep, it's not available. I don't think people use paper tapes anymore. I could be wrong on that. And if you do, leave a comment in the section comment section down below. Uh, DC for desk calculator. Yeah, it's still there, look. Arbitrary Precision Decimal Reverse Polish Notation Calculator. Next, we have DF. And, of course, it's there. There's, like, a core command that will never really change. Uh, DSW, or Delete Interactively. No, there's no DSW. Next, DTF, or a deck tape format. I'll be surprised if it was. No. Uh, DU. Yes, I know DU is there. Yep. 
disk usage statistics. It's great some of these commands are over 50 years old and yet they're still here, which is brilliant. Uh, Ed? ED, the editor? Yes, it's there. Oh, I've never seen it. says red. Okay. Cool. I know find is uh, still there. Uh, find file with a given name and now it's walker file hierarchy. So you can you still search for something. Next we have four and uh, it's a Fortran compiler. And um, well, there is a four, but it's actually built into the shell. And I think it's uh, it's a different thing. Uh, I think so. There's a lot of commands built into shell. Yeah, there's a four. Lot, so yeah. Next we have form. And originally it's a form letter generator, which sounds exciting. And uh, there is another form, but it's uh, a cursor's extension for programming forms. I, oh, I don't know, is it? I don't think it's the same. Yeah, no, I don't think it is, but it's... Uh, nah, I don't know. If you know what it is, let me know. Next we have HUP, or Hang Up Typewriter. I doubt very much. Oh, there is a HUP. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, you got a HUP, no HUP. Oh, cool. Next is LBPT, or Load Binary Paper Tape. Uh, no, there isn't. Next we have LD, or Link Editor. Yeah, and it's uh, now it's it's an L uh, linker from LVVM project. I think it's the same. It might not be. I don't know. It could be. Uh, next we've got LN, for Make a Link. Yeah, I know it's... This one's still there. You've got ls. Yeah, definitely that one's still there. For list contents of a directory. Next is mail. Yes, I think. Yep, there it is. You can have a mail or mail or mail x. Uh, send, send a message to another user on your system. Next up is message. M-E-S-G. And yes, it's permit or deny. Uh, yep, same same function. Send a message to someone else or allow them or, or disallow them. M-K-D-I-R, make a directory. And yes, of course. Next, we've got M-K-F-S for make a file system. I think this is related to deck tape. Uh, no, I'm not surprised. Next, we got mount, and yet yeah, this will be in because it is. MV for move, move or rename a file. Yep. Yeah. NM, uh, okay. Display symbolic information on object files, in object files. I think it's the same uh, symbol to, yep, yeah, I think. OD, or octal, octal dump. Yeah, it's the same. All oh, right, okay. Octal, on this time it's octal decimal hex and ASCII dump. All right. PR for print file. Yep. And then we have REW, which is for re rewind tape. I, I don't think so, no. A lot of these ones related to tapes, as you can imagine, are no longer implemented. RKD for uh, dump RK disk to tape. Nope, surprisingly. <laughs> or unsurprisingly. RKF for format RK03 disk pack. No, of course. RKL for reload RK disk from tape. No, I don't even know what that is. RM for remove or unlink files. Yep, there it is. RMDIR for remove directory. Yep, of course. ROF for uh, format text. Yeah, I think. Rough language reference. Yes, I think it's the same thing. S date, uh, set date and time. No, 
Not in FreeBSD. I think uh, the, it's handled by the actual date command. SH or shell. Yep. Same. Start. Uh, get file status. Yep. File status. Oh, you could do relink as well. Strip. Remove symbols and re re relocation bits. Uh, I think that's the same. I don't know. I think it is. SU? Oh, no, definitely that's the same. Well, it's uh, become privileged user or now it's substitute user identity, but it's basically the same. Sum? Uh, yep. Okay. Yep. And uh, you got sum and uh, CK sum for checksum. Tap? Or well, manipulate deck tape? No, I don't think. Oh, oh no, there is a tap. But you know, but I think it's something else. I don't think it's the same. This one has to do with uh, Ethernet tunnel software. So, yeah. I got all excited then. TM. Uh, provide time information. No, there is a TM. But I think... I don't know. Is that right? It could be. I don't know. If you know, let me know. TTY. Yeah, I think that is uh, the same. Type, uh, produce output on an IBM terminal. Well, there is a type. It's part of the shell. And it's, I don't know if it's the same. I don't think it is. It could be. Maybe it is. I don't know. U-mount. Yeah, that's the same. Un. For unidentified. Oh, sorry. You got unidentified. Undefined symbols? Uh, no, there isn't an un. So it is un unidentified. Do you know I can't say it? I'm going to give up. WC? For uh, word count? Yep. Who? Yeah, that's, uh, that's the same, of course. Write? Write to another user. And, yeah. Cool. All right, then. Very good. So that's not too bad then, is it? There's quite a few uh, that are still there. There's one or two which no longer mean the same thing. But in general, 54 years after the first edition, version 1, most of the commands are still there, and most of them do the same thing. Some of them might have been a little slightly expanded a bit, but it just shows you that the genius, uh, the geniuses, that came up with the original Unix and the commands, Dennis Ritchie and Ken Thompson. But some of them are like co-authored by both of them. I think they uh, they set up solid foundations. And because FreeBSD can, I mean, nothing is ever 100%, but it can trace its lineage all the way back, is a testament to just how solid these foundations were. Yeah, brilliant. If you found this video interesting, uh, and if you liked it, and if you learned something, which I did, I learned to uh, perhaps get away from doing multiple list uh, videos because it's uh, hard to put together. But besides that, if you saw anything in the video that you liked, uh, and if you give it a like, and if you liked one or more of my videos, then consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, then don't forget to hit that notification bell because it lets you know when a new video is out. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you next time.